Okay, in this video I want to show you how to make an arch using like AC strings like you used to do the segment style. So you'll notice I clicked on the arch icon and then I just clicked and dragged dragged one out. So we're not going to have RGB nodes. We're just going to have, let's say it's single color white. So that's going to be like an AC white string. We're going to tell it how many like segments of the arch there are is basically going to be the number of nodes. So if you have 15 segments, it's going to be like that. Now it's going to show each one as a dot, but let's say you wrapped them. So each segment was, was like wrapped around PVC or something. Then you could say how many actual light bulbs there are and make it look a little thicker. So it's still only 15 controllable nodes with 25 light bulbs per segment. So then I'm going to say let's create a new sequence animation 20 milliseconds quick start. <coughs> That's a quick way to get you a sequence that has your model. So most of our effects should work on this model. Let's say single strand. So if I put that down it's set for left to right. You can set number of chases for how many chases you want. You can increase the cycles if you want to move a little faster. And if you double click this and look at the strand you can see the data. So just that quick by changing these cycles you're changing what that data looks like. So it's kind of like doing chases in another program except everything dynamically updates on those nodes really quickly. So I didn't realize this is 30 seconds. Let's let's bring this back in so we can have some room. So let's say um, a marquee. It's not looking like anything initially. Let's see, I need to add a second color. So I'll do white and black. Now you can actually see the marquees doing something. So you could come in and tell it a, a band size. And you could say skip size to make the black part water. Um, some of the other effects, you could drop a spirals on there using Here I'm just picking white and you can see what the spiral's doing. Change the number of uh, number of reps. Guess you need two colors for that to do something. No. Nope. So you gotta change palette repetitions. So you can see if you look at the nodes, you can see what's happening with the data. That's not having any effect because we're on a single line. Um, some other ones. Let's see. A shock wave. People wouldn't think to use that, but if you stick that on an arch, look at what that does. It gives you a nice little, like, looks like it's starting in the middle and kind of flying down to both sides. Of course, you could change that by changing the start. Probably why I didn't do it, but let's see. X will move where it starts from. And watch watch this data over here as you move that X value you can actually see it changing where the data is starting from uh, radius can change it also and width starting and ending width <coughs> uh, let's see what's another effect that might do something you can always drop any of our effects as long as you use colors of white and black. If it's a white AC light, and you might be able to see it do something. This one doesn't look like it's doing anything. Uh, we'll delete that one. Let's see, Galaxy will probably do something. It looks almost like a shock wave. Fan probably does something. Thickness wider. 
but all these are kind of looking data wise similar but it's just showing you that all these effects that you normally use on everything let's change this direction to right so all these effects that you normally use for color RGB still work on the AC elements anyways I think I'll wrap up this video hopefully that shows you how to create you know an AC element that that you could control with uh, the normal X, -Lite X lights effects.